This is Hard Talks. Welcome. I'm Sheila Berger, and my guest today is Keith Hartley. I found him over at Forest Moon Paranormal, and he was looking for recruits for his Astral Crisis Team Boot Camp. Thanks for coming here, Keith. Um, tell me how this boot camp got started. Well, to start off, the Astro Crisis team, normally we normally need group. <laughs> and what happens is that we don't want to just throw people in there. We want to make sure that they're trained and they're capable of doing the job. Because you never know what you can face out there on the Astro plane. So you get people who call you up and they're having some issues with some spirit in their house or in their area and you have a team that will go in and help get that straightened out. Yes, we did. We have a team that kind of make the house sometimes get calm down, stuff like that. Uh huh. So when your recruiters uh, come to you, do they already know what their particular uh, abilities are? Uh, yes, but sometimes they end up finding out that they have more than what they started with. Isn't that nice? Very much. And, and so in your uh, boot camp, do you have just like this uh, – this this program that everybody follows, or how, how does that, how does that your boot camp work? It's a pretty straightforward program. It's just going in there and condition your astral body, just like you have to condition your physical body. Mm -hmm. you got to condition that astral body just as well, because you want to be physically fit at the top level. Wow. So you have to do that. You learn to shield and attack, unfortunately, attacks. All right, well, um, whenever, uh, uh, okay, so let's talk about uh, the shielding part. I mean, how, how do you, is this like exercise that you're going into your own and and you're doing your exercise within, is that is that how that starts? Yes, typically, that I'm not exactly the one that does the shielding myself. I've got two other drill instructors that help the shielding. Mm-hmm. They're a lot better at him. Uh -huh. yes, they teach them and they train them to do the shielding. Huh. And can you tell? Can you talk about how how that exercise goes? I mean, I'm I've never heard about this. I'm very curious about uh, what what kind how that training would go. What would that be like? Okay, both shielding, attacking, is pretty plain from the energy within that we use. We don't really pull the energy from a, from the outside because it's so much easier and so much quicker to use our own energy. Mm -hmm. And we're able to project that shield and build it that way into different layers. And it's the same with the tech. And you're able to like basically make an orb and give it a toss, and that's the basic way of, of attacking. With uh, this. By making an orb. That's very interesting. And from there, you can use that orb to shape and shift different shapes or, or different ways that you would like to attack. Possibly an arrow or a spear. Hmm. You know, or starters. Mm -hmm. so. hmm. and, and how, like... So you go to somebody's house as a team? Yes, it's, we're in three separate sections. The team uh -huh. as a whole is in three separate sections. Uh -huh. It's a very military run type thing. But if one team will go out and take care of something, and if something else comes up, another team can go out and take care of something else. So, I see. I see. And and when I mean how how many how many times have you done this in the history of this of this group? Myself personally, I have done this at least five times. I really? Just, I, I just got done doing it last night. Really? Can you tell me a little bit about that? Um, 
it's an experience going on the airplane. First thing you got to do is you got to make a connection with the flight. You want to talk to them. You want to discuss their issues. You want to see how they're feeling. It's pretty, pretty, pretty easy. These people are a little bit worried, and they're a little bit scared, so they're very emotional. And they, they want that help, so it's easy to make that connection. I uh, see. Got to be empathetic with them, too. They're, they're having a very rough time. But you make that line to them, you're able to astral over to them. And as soon as you get to astral over to them, then you can go into the house and you can take care of take care of like, Trust me, demons are few and far. They're not always around. Right. Any spirits, as many as what it is. So. Well, and I mean, do you know? Do you know why those spirits get caught there? Is is there, you know, a lot of various reasons why spirits get caught up? Oh, yeah, there's, there's quite a few. Sometimes somebody might buy an antique and that spirit's attached to it. Or sometimes the spirit was already there and it died in that home. And the spirit is, you know, it's naturally there. So when the new owners come in, they say, okay, you know, we got this problem. <laughs> we, don't, we don't want it gone. We want it to settle down. And that's what we do. We try to get it to settle down. You know, I just watched Beetlejuice yesterday. <laughs> they didn't want those people in their house either. <laughs> it can be a difficult time. So, uh, well, I don't put juice in my house either. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yeah, be careful what you call. Yeah. Well, okay, so then um, how long is this recruiting? Is it, you know, Depending on the one's abilities, or yeah, it kind of goes to the team. If there's if there's somebody that's lagging behind, typically I keep them in there a little bit longer and try to give them more of a chance. But then there's as a, but only as a group, they graduate all at once. Oh, keep I see. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and. Tell me, what are the abilities that people have that are doing this? Is it like they've got sight or they've got feel? I mean, what what abilities are they using to, to I mean, my abilities are coming in. I mean, I suppose intuition would be one. What what all do they have? Well, myself, I'm just like you. I'm an intuitive. I'm, I use intuition quite a bit. Mm -hmm. There's people that's empaths, you know, empathetic. Um, is that is that the word for it? I would guess. Mm -hmm. Some are psychic. Some mm -hmm. are just Reiki masters, like I am. Uh huh. Different, all different sorts of makes and models of people that come in and do things. So. Okay, so you're uh, you're physically in the Indiana area. So is that where you guys are doing all of this? Is in that area, or do you go out to? To all areas, do you do you have other places? Yeah, well, we're, the team is located all around the United States. We got really? Washington. We got a person, I believe, in Texas. We got we got my friend Michelle. She's over there in New York. And we got my old battle buddy that was in Iraq with me. He is he's sitting right behind me. <laughs> and then nice. Ohio, all different, all different places. So your teams are located everywhere. It, are you talking like ind groups of people or individuals and then you connect? Um, I mean, do you guys physically go to these places or do you do it from your from your, your homes? We do it. But we don't, we don't have to physically go. We just use the astral plane. Okay. Make it there. That's why you guys can be spread out so well and, yes. and cover such a wide area. And yes, yes. Well, and and how do um, okay when 
okay, for someone who's got, uh, you know, a spirit in the house that's, that's, you know, they're not comfortable with, what would they do? What, what, what would be their first step? Well, their first step is to take care of stuff on their own sometimes. We, a lot of times, will encourage them to use their own religion. Let's say if they're a Catholic, mm -hmm. well, they don't want them to possibly call them a Catholic priest. Mm -hmm. We do use their own faith and their own religion. And sometimes, if, if all else fits, like in one case, you know, she, uh, she did call the, the priest. Mm -hmm. and, and the whatever that one. Just about it. Hmm. So, hmm. Yeah, a lot of times it's just different things like, oh, my love life is very now referring to dating site. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it's a big world, but there's lots of issues. <laughs> okay, so then. Um, since I had seen uh, on your post that you were recruiting uh, more people to come uh, join your boot camp, um, for, for people who are not on Facebook, where could they reach you? Um, that's a pretty difficult thing, <laughs> because really the only way that they can reach me is on Facebook. Okay, then here here it is. Is if anybody would like to reach you that is not on Facebook, they can contact me at SheilaBurger at gmail .com, and then I can uh, relay any messages uh, to you that way. That works. All right, all right. Well, is there uh, anything that you'd like to add to this in uh, in Summoning your recruits, what would you like to say to them? Well, the first thing I would say them is that I was going to be the I'll be the coolest one out. So, <laughs> I had to throw that in there. Um, the thing, I guess the main thing that I would like to say to them is that try your hardest, and this is with anybody, try your hardest in life, do the very best you can, because if you do, you're going to succeed. You know, there's somehow, some way, and if you don't succeed, you're going to get the it's in the fulfillment that you need. You did. And would you like to do a shout out to your uh, other teammates there who are all working together there? Yes. Well, I can't mention them all. <laughs> so I'll right. go to the main ones. My friend, he's in Iraq with me. Real good buddy. I'm at his house right now. My friend, Charles. Oh, mother. Oh, Charles is okay. But I'll give him a shout out anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the team founder is Eric Cooper. Real good guy. I'd like to shout, give a shout out to him too. Yeah, Eric Cooper. And uh, Michelle, if I don't give a shout out to her, she's probably going to smack me next time. You better give Michelle a shout out. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, Keith, I wish you the best of luck on this. I hope we get some uh, hits, and and I'm going to send this out so that uh, maybe we'll uh, spark some interest your way. I really appreciate that. All right. I'm working with you. Okay, well, we'll be in touch, and uh, thank you so much. All right, have a good day. Uh-huh. All right, peeps. Well, thanks for tuning in. Uh, you can reach me at SheilaBurger at gmail.com or at um, SheilaJeanBurger.com at my website. And uh, thank you all so much for tuning in. From my heart to yours, namaste.